Hello friends, my name is Amy. Welcome back to Octopath Traveler 2. I have collected Ochet and also Oswald, and there wasn't a particular reason why I did that. I just kind of figured it would make sense to level them up because their chapter 2 and chapter 3 quests are sort of close to Costi's, and we're heading toward Costi's quest. It's recommended that she's level 17, but my girl is a strong level 19. She is, she and Hikari are honestly carrying the team. I did play a little bit offline just to kind of get ourselves over from, what town were we on? Uh, Conning Creek over to Sai, but that's about it. I'm also interested to see what Particio's quest, like the commerce line, does in this town. Like is it just we get a discount or is it something more? And of course, combat. Here we go. Let's do that. Now here's the thing, I should have probably saved that attack for when everybody had their shield down. But you know, it's okay. So two people are weak to daggers, one's weak to sword, two are weak to axes. Um, in that case, Endure got one pole arm. You know what? Let's just do dagger. Goodbye, undead soldier. Not quite. Oh, that's that's a bit powerful, actually. I'm gonna try and get oh okay all of their shield points down at once so that way maybe we can use some AOE finish this battle a little bit faster. Um. Thinking time. Oh okay, you're weak. All right, um, I should have saved her latent power. It's okay. I, oh, she does have, okay, she's got this, which is not terrible. All right, beloved. I think most of Costi's, oh, okay, axes. I wish the poison skills were more AOE. That would be very nice. Goodbye. Okay, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Hunter skills. Single foe, single foe. All allies. Boo. Okay. Maybe... Maybe we gotta use this thing again. I don't know if that salamander has a limited amount of turns and at some point just vanishes, but... I hope not. <laughs> Okay, let's do this one, because the scorpion isn't going to have a turn until way later. No, you're not weak to any of these things, and latent power doesn't really work on apothecary skills, so let's just use this. I do need to figure out how to make Oswald stronger. I feel like it was so easy for the other characters, but for Oswald and Temenos, it feels like they're weak, extra weak for no reason. I tried taking a look at their stats offline, and that definitely has a big reason to do with why um, certain characters are so overpowered, obviously. But who's that character? Oh, mysterious. I will get to you, my good sir. Oh, there's a safe point here. What's... What's here? Oh, is this... Another path? Oh, no, it's just a treasure chest. I will take that. Um, also, if you're noticing that we're not running into battle that often, that would be because of our beloved Oswald's... Is it evasive maneuvers, I think? He has a support skill that has proven to be so handy 
and sincerely it has cut down on so many of the battles that we run into but i still feel like we're leveling our our crew enough like i don't feel like we're struggling with that we really need agnea because she's got daggers what's a good way that i could potentially aoe pole arm two of them are weak to pole arm i would love Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, yes. We could use that. Ultimate stance will create AoE for all of his attacks. Although he is dying. We should pay attention to that. Alright, in the meantime, we'll take care of you back there. I will also take care of you. At least break the shield, so that way, whatever Hikari chooses to do. Now it begins. Hopefully, take care of everyone. I think... I'm pretty sure, yeah. So it can't be a learned skill for AoE. Um, warrior, or sorry, aggressive slash? Actually, no. Warrior skills also don't work. So it's just these. Which is a little unfortunate. Considering... We don't really have weapons that they're weak to. Um, why not? Now then, let me show you what I've learned. Ice fireball. Honestly, he's got so much SP that I feel like. Let's just do some. Okay, I feel like that should have done it to all foes. Did it not say all foes? Is it because I used latent power? It's because I used latent power. That was not the smartest move on my part. Um, okay, actually, we can use Inventor. Yeah, we'll do this. Hopefully it'll take them all out. <gasps> yes. Inventor? Whatever weapon you use, you can choose, first of all, which weapon you want to use, even if you don't have it. And it's AoE, which is beautiful if you want to crack open a shield, or like that if you just want to attack. Sai is up above. Harborlands is where we came from. The western Sai sands are to the left. I'm debating whether or not I want to go get that chest. Actually, I think that's from the north. I'm thinking we save that for later. Actually, hold on. Never mind. I want this. Now we're good. Beautiful. There was a person here and I kind of want to talk to them first, just in case. It won't be easy selling all this. Thin merchant. What's going on there, buddy? Oh, don't. We could befriend them. Are you still here at night? Never mind. Talk to them for free. An emaciated man drawing nervous, ragged breaths. He calls out to passerby to purchase his wares and shuffles off to replenish his stock when he sells out. Where exactly his products come from is unclear. Oh, I wish I had Agnea. I could just get her, or sorry, get his stuff for free. You cannot mug this person. Good to know. Let's head into the city. Okay, I knew that was coming. The begin. Oh, the one in the back is a little new. Let's use ultimate stance. Know the death, my skill. Oh, I need to heal him. Now then. Scholar skills? Actually, apothecary skills is what we need. This Much appreciated. Bow attack, Thunderbird. Huh. Crit rate and accuracy. Honestly, let's just try this for funsies. Why not? They hurt. Ah! <gasps> 
Oh, she's gonna die. Please don't die, bestie. Um, at least... Ah, oh, the problem is... He doesn't have a single weapon that's gonna... Make a huge impact on any of these creatures, but you know. Oh, actually, the sword. Worked for the one in the back, interestingly enough. We've got so many healing grapes, honestly. Let's just use one. It's fine. So that way we can save our efforts instead of... Oh, I can only do for one. Um, Let's get the one in the back. Apothecary skills to a single foe. There was one... Didn't I have one that was like... For all? Like I could use Ice Skull for all? Bow attack, lightning, take aim, no. I'm actually gonna use it on this thing. Oh, it's still not dead. That's... Oh, okay. I'll take it. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that for me. Uh, moderately powerful. Sure. Wow. So much for moderately powerful. Actually, hold on. Instead of using that skill... Yeah, the scholar skill. It's interesting because the scholar skill... We'll let you use AoE magic, but the Apothecary skill is only single target. Beautiful. Okay, this time. This time, we're going toward the city. If you'll remember, Sai was the location of, um, one of the last places, actually, that Kosti apparently visited. That's right, I had business here, you do! Yeah, so, following the clues she discovered in her treatment log, Kasti arrives in the town of Sai. With no other leads, she decides to explore the area. And we are good to go. It looks like there's another character that we could potentially explore with, but... We're just going to continue her tale and hopefully not die. So this is Sai. According to my treatment log, I've been here before. Perhaps something in this place will help unlock the door to my memories. Help! Someone! Anyone! My friend is wounded! Someone help him! What's going on? Damn! Again? It'll be someone else's turn next. It's been tit for tat. May I ask what's going on? Fighting, lady. With the soldiers of the town over yonder. The folk living in this neighborhood are outsiders. Immigrants. We don't have much to live off of. Anyone who wanted to make a good life for themselves used to head to the next town for work. All was fine, till a few years ago. Folks there suddenly decided we were undesirables. I wonder what changed, uh-huh. That's the cause of the bloodshed? That's the short of it, yeah. So my turn. Who are you, lady? You don't look like one of us. Just a simple traveling apothecary. I seek only to give aid. If you have wounded, I will treat them. Where can I find that woman who was shouting earlier? The hospital. It's in a hovel in the northwest of town. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'll head there immediately. The kingdom has certainly changed. We don't... I just want to see how much it costs. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> we have... Okay, we've got 13,000. But I would prefer not to waste our money if we can help it. Welcome to our boring backwater. You're one odd duck to want to come here. 
Wait, Bastie, can I? Oh, level 30 or higher. What about you? Seemingly idle conversation is how he replenishes his stock. Oh, his real business is information. That's smart. Ah, okay, he said. We're on the border, so the long-standing conflict has destabilized this region. An old man who lost his grandchild in the war. His daughter has been despondent ever since and refused to leave the house for the longest time. Though she now leaves every once in a while, it will be some time before she knows joy again. That was very helpful. Oh, okay. Yeah, I also figured out how hidden items worked last time. I now know they're usually in the same town that you find the, the little tooltip in. Battle hatchet. Oh, that's actually a pretty significant upgrade. I mean, my dear Custy could definitely use it, but at the same time, so could my darling Ochet. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Um, and if, honestly, it might be a little smart to get it, but I'm going to wait for a little bit. And then if we really badly need it, I'll get it. But there are soldiers in this town too. Oh yeah, soldier soon to get his first taste of war. Oh boy. The odds are stacked against him. He has plenty of courage, but no strength. Oh, a baby. Just looking at the town and thinking. Oh, wow. Lost in the memories of his parents. Oh, actually, no, that is not where I'm meant to go, but you know what? I just want to look at the map. Okay. Well, we have to go back to that area anyway for the hospital, so... Let me explore this place first. One of a few people, oh sorry, a few children living with an elderly couple in town, so it must be the other child too who's living with them. Oh. Thank you. Hello. For a limited time on sale. The supply line is a closely guarded secret. His fruit is always fresh and his surprises are the lowest around. He has great sympathy for young children living with an elderly couple and always makes sure to give them a little bit extra free of charge. Oh, there's a statue up there, too. It's of a dancer. I think. <laughs> okay. He's a carpenter in the future, apparently. He's courting the woman working at the tavern whose life circumstances force her to toil without a day's respite. Is it respite or respite? I think it's respite. And wants to make journeyman as soon as he can... As soon as he can... As soon as he can? Yes, to be there for her properly. I could not read that sentence. This land used to be the Great Kingdom of U, but it was destroyed dozens of years ago by Ku. I remember there was, was it a carpenter or someone we met in one of our towns who was from this kingdom who like said that they had basically designed like the walls and stuff. I wonder if they're going to be important. I heard a lot of innocents were killed, but many managed to flee to the Harborlands. You must be level 20 or higher. Hmm. Oh, so many small children. Ah, uh, another one of the children. Okay. Thank you. Hello, what about you? Oh. The shock and upheaval of it all has caused this young girl to close herself off from the world. She hardly speaks to anyone these days. That was Thank you for the hidden item, which is somewhere here. Sometimes I do sneak a cookie from the cookie jar. Aw, quite the gourmand. He's always eager to share food with the younger children as well. Oh, that is so wholesome. Look at the little kids running around. That's adorable. Hello. Excuse me, you want something? Information, please. Her face betrays no emotion whatsoever. She is quite considerate, however. She hands out snacks to the children in the afternoon. Silently, of course. It's a my creepy, please. Anyone home? Knock, knock. Oh, hello. 
that's the other thing I forgot, is that, um... Things happen at night, too, so we gotta check. Wait, I think there's something wrong with me. My chest feels so weird and tight lately. Oh my god, I thought it was like, is he, is it a heart condition? Is, is it anxiety? And now instead it's, <laughs> his heart threatens to leap out of his ribcage whenever he thinks about the oldest girl in the couple's care. Okay. All right, sir. Was it helpful, Costi? No, it was not. Don't lie to him. Where? No, 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 not you, not you. How do I, that item? Aha, stuffed toy, interesting. Oh gosh, there's so many of them. Hello. I'm really grateful to my grandma and grandpa. Can I give you money to bribe you potentially? Oh, she's beginning to think hard about the future and needs time alone to do so. Very cool. I mean, not very cool, but like, you know, interesting. You cannot soothe, bribe, befriend, or mug this person, sir. Who are you? Alright. I'm gonna go back to daytime. And continue our journey. Oh, suspicious! Stop right there! Stay out! It's dangerous! What are you hiding? Master of a guild that manages the buildings in the East District. These days, he spends time preventing the local children from entering the particularly dilapidated houses... storehouses situated on the back streets. He wants nothing more than to tear them all down, but try as he might, he cannot secure the proper permissions. Thank you. Oh. Not suspicious, after all. Oh, that's Dragon Ridge. Danger 34! I think I'm good. Oh, another carpenter. Isn't there another person who's in love with a woman at the tavern? Oh, she's popular. We need to meet the woman at the tavern. Oh, hello. The stronghold has definitely seen better days. It needs repairs and quick. It actually used to belong to the Kingdom of Ooh, which is what this land used to be. When the kingdom was destroyed, the technology to fix it was lost. Still, the residents here don't have the money to build themselves new houses. I could try to fix it myself, but I'd need the actual plans from that era to do that. Oh! Apparently I already got it from, I guess, that carpenter? Enjoy, sir. Man, that blue is bothering me. I should have gotten this item before I talked to him. There's no doubt about it. These are the plans for the stronghold. It's a miracle you managed to find these. Hmm. I had a feeling it would involve some complex engineering. Even a single miscalculation could be dangerous. But with these plans in hand, I don't doubt I can do it. Fine work, stranger. Hey, not bad for the money. Aww. It's almost good now. Okay, please stop twitching on my screen. Thank you. Oh, okay. That was very. It was very helpful. Refined sword. Oh wait, is that an item like I can use? Let's find out. Anyone else out at night, potentially, who I have not spoken to? That's Dragon Ridge, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm going to check. Oh, we also have a skill that we can use. Let me double check on that sword, actually. Equipment. Sword. Who else can use a sword? Oh, it's just y'all, huh? Okay. Whale. Refined sword. Oh yeah, for sure this is better. That's lovely. Spirit scimitar. Don't know how to say that word. Okay, yeah. No, what we've got is still better. Oh, sorry. Forgot to do the skill thing. Learn skills. Oh, Chet. You are ready. Mercy strike. Um, Otherwise lethal attacks will... Instead, leave the target with 1 HP. I'm interested to see when that would apply. Oh, for two turns. Interesting. Let's use that. 
And then also, let's take our support skill. Oh, actually, it's this one. Oh, more rare monsters. Raises the chances of encountering rare monsters. I wonder if they're going to be more powerful, Ochet? Oh, um, for the Apothecary branch, at least. He's got some stuff he can learn. Rehabilitate. Rehabilitate? Yes, that. Let's do this one, because I was actually wondering where that skill was a little earlier. We only got one more slot. So we'll probably have to delete or unequip a skill at some point. Hello. Okay, level 20 or higher. Hello. Everybody's so high level in this place. Nope. Nope. Also, I'm gonna... Oh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna guess that the tavern is not here. Maybe it's back where we entered? You would think by now I would recognize the symbol for a tavern, but apparently not. Oh, hello. Oh, 3,000! Oh, best, you know, I'm gonna just- I'll come back, okay? We'll just come back. Are you someone I can bribe? Want anything to eat? I could use a bite. Um, I do, but also you're really expensive. Heavy coin pouch! Wait! Maybe in this town, money can't buy food. Even though they have a merchant. Maybe there's a reason why. Oh, there's a tavern. Figured it out eventually. The more you kill, the better the soldier. And I'm a damn good soldier. Is that how that works? I don't think that's how that works. It's all meaningless if you die. The most important job for a soldier is to come back home alive. No, not you. Um, 5,000. How much are... Ooh. How much are you? 300. We can do 300. Oh... More than a few comrades in arms have died in his stead as he fled from battle. Oh. His only aim is to survive the fight. That's... an approach. Honestly, it's an approach. Are you... oh, you're high level. That's why I couldn't. Where's the lady at the tavern? The... the lady that everybody's... oh, she might be in the corner over there. At her. Who are you? Higher the proof, the better. Like in alcohol? I have Discount at the inn! Alright. Oh, you are the person, aren't you? Five- oh no, I'm good. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, the side story is only available when Partitia was in the party? Okay, wait, hold on. I'm- I didn't know that's how it would work for him, but you know what? Hold on. Uh, res no, change party. Oh, Throne! Oh my god, she's dying in there. All right, hold on. We're gonna swap out Oswald. I'm so sorry, beloved. And we... Is there like a save point or something here? Yes. You know, the other thing we should also do is make sure that um he's got like decent gear at least because i have to have picked up other things by now right okay maybe not <laughs> maybe not yeah and this town doesn't have much more than really a sword that i could afford so there's that let's finish talking to everyone and then we can um it's rough at night because everybody's doing Fight Club. Oh, I can't let a civilian wander into the middle of a battlefield. Turn back. What if... Oh, wait. Is it here? Yes. Gucci. This music in the game is so lovely. Would you be interested in purchasing some tasty water? Wait. Oh no, I thought, like, maybe they would have a suspicious skill or something. All this man's wandering has brought him to Sai. He has neither money, nor connections, nor skills. 
To make ends meet, he has begun selling silty water gathered from a watering hole outside of town. He's found fewer, sorry, few takers. It's probably because you're selling silty water. But also, I guess that's all you can do. I'm not faking being sick, honest. Oh. The pain persists. Worse yet, his location changes from day to day. I don't think he's lying. Maybe he just has an illness that, you know, Kosti herself has not been able to... or has not encountered. Oh, a thousand, sir. Actually, do you cost, like, what? Level... Level 30! No. Mm-mm. Oh, maybe they can train me. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. Challenge with ease. Oh, that's lovely. The residents of this town more receptive to your challenges. That's nice. Oh, wow. Thank you. There's no one here. I want to talk to that guy, but I have a feeling it's going to be a guild thing. So I'd like to save. And then deal with it. Um, I also think... We may need to... Is there a way that I could see... Oh, yes, actually. Is it that? I think it is. Actually, no, I don't think it's that. Because there's, um, there's a way to see... what guilt she's in, basically. And I don't remember how that is. Well, either way... Or Swordsmith. I think I'm gonna put Hikari in there. My dear boy, I hope you enjoy it. You're a skilled fighter! I am, in fact- Oh, Warrior's Guild Master! Okay. The path of a warrior is long and hard, and your journey has only just begun. Anyone who wishes to hone their swordsmanship is welcome at my dojo, regardless of their style. Let us train together, both in mind and body. Thank you. Okay, so we have... Okay, there are several tasks put forth for warriors in my dojo. Complete a task and you shall receive a new license. Okay, equip it to use a warrior skill in battle. So, we don't necessarily have to equip it on Hikari. Certain notorious double-edged sword? Oh, but it might be cursed. Forbidden blade! It changed hands countless times before finally being laid to rest in a cemetery in the Crestlands! I'm taking a picture. Will you find the blade and learn to wield it? Or will you leave the curse blade where it lies? The choice is yours, my friend. This too is part of your training. Have I come across a cemetery or something in my travels? I know I have, but... The Crestlands? Allow me to tell you a legend passed down in this dojo. In this world, there are eight altars, each dedicated to one of the eight gods. The altar of Brand, the Thunder Blade, is hidden deep within the eastern Sai Sands. If a chosen warrior were to find the altar, they would obtain unparalleled skill. None have succeeded to date, but perhaps it has been waiting for someone like you to find it. You know, um, I think, I do believe... Oh, Masters of Warriors... Divine Skill, okay. I would like to s I would like my students to see two Master Warriors engage in mock battle. Bring another who has mastered a Divine Skill to this dojo and demonstrate your mutual prowess I shall give you another license. Okay, so I have a feeling 
Yeah, I did that. Sorry. Um, I have already done that quest. I this one was for cleric, I think. Um, so it's one of the eight gods, basically. So we have found two. Um, that honestly, the first one that I found, this one was kind of an accident. This one was very intentional. I saw and I knew exactly where I was, and you know what? I decided to do it anyway. So, um, six more to go, I think. But on that note, we can actually probably give that to someone. Like, someone could be a warrior. If, for example, if we wanted our dear girl not to be an apothecary, because that's a lot. Um, actually, does it give her a boost? It does. We have so many apothecaries already that I just, I don't think we need another one. But if we wanted her to be a warrior, that could be your secondary job. And it would give her the option of like equipping so many other weapons. So very, very possible. On the other hand, same kind of applies for our dear boy, Particio. The thing is, I feel like with Ochet, it might be a little bit more worth it because warrior gives you the access to use um, pole arms and swords. And if you have a character that can already use one of those weapons, it kind of feels like a waste. A little bit. They can still make use of it, but you know. Well, regardless, we still have a license, so I'll, I'll make a note to at some point equip it on someone. Maybe like Throne or one of the characters who I've kind of abandoned. At some point, everyone will get leveled, so it's okay. But, you know. Drawn on that cart. He can't be. Is that the crest of the legendary merchant Masood? Uh, come to think of it, he was supposed to hail from around these parts. Masood, the merchant who walked the entirety of both the eastern and western continents. Wait till Particia learns what we're about to do. Every merchant worth their salt would give a left kidney to read the chronicles he penned of his travels. The Mercantile Manuscript. To think I'd have the chance to meet him in a place like this. I need to take a gander at that Mercantile Manuscript. Particio's quest? The Psy route. Okay. It did not mention particular level. So I'm gonna assume it's not attached to a particular level. It's locked. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was just gonna end there. Who are you? Howdy, you're the legendary merchant Masood, ain't you? Oh, there's something I'm dying to ask you. It's polite to introduce oneself before shouting questions at strangers, you know. Oh, pardon me. Particio, at your service. I'm a merchant. Oh, okay. So? Oh my gosh. What does Particio the merchant want with a retired old man like me? Oh, I've heard stories about you ever since I was a chickadee. Uh, like that time you struck a deal with that horde of bandits, or when you saved that little kingdom in the west from famine. Oh yeah, and when you scuffled with the royal family? <laughs> that story is stuck in my old noggin. I asked you what you wanted with me. A merchant should know how to get to the point. Their personalities are so different, aren't they? Yeah, right again. Uh, sorry, got carried away. I'll cut to the chase. Let me read that chronicle you penned. The Mercantile Manuscript. No. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Don't make me repeat myself. You might need to. Partitia doesn't really listen. I have no obligation nor reason to let a nobody like you anywhere near it. Is he telling us we need to be famous first? Nobody. Uh, now listen here. That's hurtful. <laughs> He's so honest. Even the nobody's got a nobody's pride. If I may toot my own horn, I've got some merchant chops to my name. 
Oh, you do, do you? Then I'll give you a test. Why does Masood sound like a Scooby Doo villain? Prove your worth to me, oh nobody of supposed talent. This is what I'm talking about. You got yourself a deal, fella. Good. As a merchant, there is one treasure I value above all else. Bring it to me. Uh, are you going to tell me what it is? Uh -huh. If you profess to be a merchant, the answer should be obvious. Well, your girl is not. Particia may be, but I am not. <laughs> of course, if you think this test unfair, you could just give... Interesting. I always stock whatever it is my customer's looking for. That's my merchant's creed. I promise I'll figure out what your treasure is, fella, and bring it right here to you. I'd very much like to see you try. Interesting. I wonder if it's going to be like this for the other Scent of Commerce quest too. Masood's treasure, huh? I'll need to start by looking for clues. Maybe someone around town knows a thing or two about it. Time to gather information. Wait, no bestie. I've already talked to everyone in town though. Now, here's the problem. There are some people I've not talked to. But they're expensive. I feel like children should know the most because they just pay attention to everything. You know? Yeah, you're not gonna let me go, are ya? Hello. Thank you. Where's the hidden item? Oh, apparently it's in. Here? Oh, no, that's the cutscene. Okay, wait, hold on. My hidden item! How long are you slouches planning on lazing around? You know the rules. You don't work, you don't eat. Edmund, I think they're dying. I... <sighs> Master Edmund, please. I've only just staunched this man's wounds. Spare me the sob story, bone mender. A man's gotta be strong if he wants to make it in this world. Gotta be a provider, you get me? Ew. You don't work, you don't eat. No excuses. Somebody should smack him. I volunteer. He's saying it like they have a choice. Oh, sorry. I haven't seen you around here before. You got a problem with me? Speak up! You said that to the wrong girl because Cassie will absolutely speak up! Injuries need time to heal. What I say. He cannot work in his condition. She will not hesitate. He requires rest now. Exertion will cause his wounds to reopen, putting his very life at risk. <gasps> Boss, I... I can't. Worthless. This is a waste of my time. Listen up, all of you. You got backbone, you come with me. Out of my way. Don't bother me unless you can hold a sword. Oh, lucky for you. <laughs> the pain. Pain. These people are suffering. I must help them. I should speak to that apothecary. I'm assuming this is all from the battlefield and not like some strange disease or something. Ooh, also, um, I'm going to swap my sweet girl back to the lead. Thank you for before. Casti, I'm a traveling apothecary. May I offer my assistance? It would be most welcome. There's more herbs here than I can tend alone. There, we 
we've done what we can. It's still too early to rest on our laurels. We'll need to burn the candle at both ends tonight. I. Hold on. I was too busy to give you a good look earlier, but we've met before, haven't we? You tell me! You'll have to forgive me if I don't recall. I've lost my memories. I see. I've been retracing my past, trying to discover who I am. In that case, it's my turn to help you. Ask me anything. I'll be glad to answer. Inquire about what Mao knows. Also, who are you, bestie? Sai's sole apothecary. She has cared for its residents for quite some time. Mao has met Casti before. I'd like to help her restore her memory. Ah! Is... Is that in... I'm, I'm assuming this is part of the game. This has happened before, but I still can't tell if it's intentional. The pain. I'm, I'm not gonna make it. Forget me. Help the others. It's no good. I can't see to all their hurts alone. Oh. <gasps> oh. I heard this town had troubles. But yeesh. Then our journey here was not wasted. Leia. These wounds fester faster than I anticipated. The desert climb, I wager. Just like the chief said. Good thing we came prepared. Excuse me. Who are you people? Heirs Apothecaries, we're here to help. Heirs Apothecaries? Chief! <gasps> Stop! I've done what I could. The rest is up to you, Chief Casty. Oh my goodness, we were the chief? Chief? Like, how high are we talking? Was I the leader of Heirs Apothecaries? Oh, we were talking that high. It was four years ago, if I recall. Not long after the fighting began. That's very long, though. You arrived at the head of your apothecaries to offer aid to our wounded. The name Heirs Apothecaries was anathema in Camelbrine. And yet, here, they're seen as saviors. Why? Also, it's Camelbrine. I believe. That's what she said, right? I think? Mender! There are more wounded on the front lines! Take me to them. I'll see to their hurts. Wait, there's no need to risk your life for us. You're here to reclaim your lost memory, right? I am, but healing those in need is my mission and my creed. Casty. Thank you. I'll leave the front lines to you and see to things here. Make for the camp. Ooh, press. I'm trying to press it, but what? Oh, press. Is it the? Oh, it's the plus button. Oh, that is so cute. What amnesia feels like. Howdy, Casty. Is it just me or are you looking worn out? I appreciate the concern, Particio. Physically, I'm healthy and whole. My memory, on the other hand. Don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Losing memories. I can't imagine how hard that must be for you. I can't say. There's still so much I don't understand. It's like there's something right in front of me. 
but I can only see its shadow. Isn't it odd to be so distressed by something that doesn't exist? Maybe. If it doesn't exist, you wouldn't even know to let it bother you. But with amnesia, that very void is what absorbs all my thoughts. It's like there's a huge hole in front of me. In me? No, just in me. I feel an inexplicable sense of loss. Hmm. I'm having trouble picturing what's, what that's like. Wait a sec. Come to think of it, I don't remember what I did last night either. Really? My memories there, at least, are fresh and clear. After you downed three full glasses of wine, you and I got up to all sorts of naughty hijinks. Huh? We did? It's all a blank to me. That wasn't enough for you, Mr. Wild Stallion. After we did that and that and... What is... She, what is... C Custy? No, you need to explain. Like, did you start a drunken brawl or was it something else? Whoa there! Just what happened last night. I'm dying to know. And that's what it feels like to lose your memory. Please, Kasti, let me go. And with my father, and my own father's sword. Oh, hello. That sword is a precious family heir heirloom. I won't be able to face my father without it. A dirty thief should be at the decaying temple in the eastern Sai Sands, but I don't stand a chance against him. He probably knew as much, which is why he let me live. Oh, okay. His greatest teacher was his father, who was famed for never losing a battle, but succumbed to illness not long ago. He set out on this journey of training and discipline to hone his innate talent into true mastery. Okay, so we should probably- okay, the front lines are over here, but we want to do that quest. Hello, sir? There we go. Um... There's also like they've got I'm I'm looking for um things that maybe that's sixteen thousand. I don't think it's that. The problem is I don't know what it is that that Masood guy actually wants. So that makes it a little bit difficult. Oh, a loot. Okay. I'm gonna get that only because it has that symbol next to it. Which usually means it is important for some reason or another. Oh, hello. Masood's daughter! Okay, daughter of the legendary merchant Masood. She does not resent her father for disregarding both herself and her mother for the sake of his business. But she does not respect him either. She simply resolves never to live the same way he did. Thank you. Oh, my father told me that we should all treasure ourselves. Oh, you know what? I don't think it's the loot. I th can I bring her? Your greatest treasure might be just your daughter. And like, he's retired now. He's probably got a lot of time on his hands to contemplate all the mistakes he's made in his life. And you never know. It could be that. I really think it's... It might just be his daughter. I'm gonna see if anybody has, like, something super useful. Little chickens are so cute. Them happily pecking away. Okay. I'm going to see... As a merchant... Bring it to me. He's like, bring it to me. Oh, I need... I think we need... Okay, first off, we need a character that can bring... His daughter. Over. That, I think, is like, number one clear. Also, um, the other quest was in the Eastern Size Sands. I think it was more north, like... That, I think, is where the temple is. I could be very mistaken, though. Um, and that's blinking because that's his quest. Okay. Uh, change 
Arte. Wait, actually, let me double check who it was that had that skill in the first place. Oh, I can only check from the people who are in my party. That's fun. Uh, Throne. You can steal people's belongings. Uh, ambush people and knock them unconscious. All right. I think it's Agnea. Yes, allure people. Yeah, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Beloved Agnea, please come with me. Okay, you. And we do need Ochet, or sorry, we do need Partitio in the party because otherwise I don't think the, the quest is gonna trigger. Oh, it's, <laughs> these are my characters. I was like, he looks so much like Oswald. So, so much. Here's Temenos. He's had a lot of downtime, sadly. At some point, he and Throne will get to them. Oh, um, actually, hold on. We haven't brought the daughter over. Also, um, the Beastling who's been following us has been following us like forever. I believe she's also because of Agnea. So when we put Agnea away, we don't get to interact with her either. Um, cannot allure this person. I wonder. I'm convinced that it is his daughter. Unless it's not. The only other person, actually, hold on, hold on. The only other person who might have anything to do with him. Can guide townspeople. Okay, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe that's what we need to do. Instead of alluring her, maybe we just need to guide her. Maybe that's all it takes. Also, somehow he's level 14. Did not anticipate that. Hello. See, I can't guide this person either. Maybe it's not her. Maybe you're not daddy's treasure. Is it his wife? Don't know where she is, though. That's the problem. Um, I'm gonna move my people back to the party. Actually, I'm gonna put Ochet in there instead of Particio. Man, I wonder what it is. Wait, is there like a... They said if I talk to people around town, I'll be able to figure it out. So maybe... There's more folks who we haven't met yet. Not Kasti. Tishio. Who knows something that can help, yeah. Maybe... Uh, you're like a tavern person. A tavern person? You, you work here. But I don't want to have to pay that much money for her information. Ah! <gasps> Well, you can hire this person. You could- we could ambush her, but I don't think that's a good idea. So, there's that. We'll come back for that, I guess. When we are potentially stronger. East District? Yeah, why not? We'll give it one more shot. Five thousand, huh? Well, there's so many people here who I have not learned enough about, but they are expansive. That's the problem. Yeah, you're three thousand. What are you? Five? Oh, a thousand. We've got fifteen, but at the same time, I'd prefer not to like just throw money if possible. They're all in here. I genuinely think it's probably his family. Because he's... He's retired. And... The way his daughter was talking about him. Like, she doesn't care about him. Maybe he wishes she did. Or, you know, respect him. We should all treasure ourselves. 
So is it? But I've brought myself already. One day we will figure it out. In the meantime, let's go to the front lines. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> I heard they were injured. Where are they? <laughs> None here. Not on our side, anyway. Was there some mistake? A messenger came speaking of wounded. Yeah, they're wounded. Enemies. I plan to really show them what for today, so we set up a little ambush. When what do you know? Huge patch of quicksand appears right as they were marching over. The fools all got swallowed up by the sands. Gulp. <laughs> Serves them right. I could get used to this. Victory without even drawing my sword. <laughs> I guess we're supposed to... S I, I don't know, be on the side of Edmund, but like, if he... If he accidentally dies in a scuffle, we can look the other way, Casti. Whoa there! Leaving so soon? Of course. Those people are in need of my aid, and so to their aid I go. <sighs> you think I'll just stand here and let you help our enemies? <gasps> Fight Club! Will we fight on our own or with allies? That is the real question. Hello! Oh, nobody wants to talk, huh? Also, this looks like a solo mission. I feel bad for them, but it wasn't our fault that happened. It was all up to luck. Stop, or else you'll end up in quicksand with them. Don't do anything to ruin our odds, you hear? No promises, and by that I mean <laughs> to ruin it. A perpetually cheery soldier, not long, or sorry, not even the long war was enough to shake his optimism, and he was the first to offer words of encouragement to his comrades in arms when danger drew near. So long as he is alive and has not yet given up, that is enough, he reasons, as he turns his back on his fallen compatriots. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Fine. This is not how I thought it would go down. What is that? Oh, we desperately need Agnea. There's so many, like, dagger people in this area. I might actually go back for her. Um, yeah, let's, let's go back for Agnea because I think she would really come in handy. Particio, with love, respectfully, I'm going to put you away. Actually, um, you know what? I'm gonna swap in Oswald too, because he's got a he's got this lovely little staff weapon that could be very useful. Cause some enemies they're a pain. Are you? No, you're someone I've already talked to. A Masood quest is gonna bother me. I'm gonna have to really think about it. I think it's a clever quest, but at the same time, is it too clever for me? Maybe. So, um, don't mind me. I just wanted to save, actually. We've made two minutes of progress, which is to say nothing at all has happened, but still. Chest? You see this evasive maneuver sub skill? So good. I'm really glad Oswald is on our team. I'm really glad I remembered to put him back in, actually. Edmund, is that you? Hello? Is anyone there? Please shout if you can hear me. <sighs> Over there. Found you. You move fast, girl. Do we? I took a whole detour, but okay, Edmund. Shh. Quiet. 
He told him to shut up. That way. Hey. <laughs> Is this Edmund's redemption arc, even though he doesn't deserve it? Please help me. I, I can't move. Don't move. I'm coming. It'll be all right. Hurry before it gets back. The quicksand? Does it have feet? Stop thrashing. Strange. Everyone here seems terrified. Were they attacked? This isn't good. At this rate, they'll freeze. You there. Yes, you. Bring me kindling. Anything that can make a fire. Water too while you're at it. Don't spout nonsense. I'm not helping them. They're enemies. I ain't giving them a drop of... Stop blustering and fetch. Now. <laughs> huh? Please. Damn your eyes. Fine. Kindling and water, right? Oh my goodness. Thank you. These people owe their lives to you. I was like them once. I was a soldier for the other side, living fat off my daily wages. One day a bunch of outsiders tried to move into our kingdom. Lots of kids. Well, we went in and sent them packing. King's orders. Didn't think much of it at first. Just followed orders. But eventually I started thinking. Is what I got worth bullying innocence? Do I want to protect my coin that bad? I mean, you're still a bully though. That, that part did not change, Edmund! Long story short, I got real pissed off about it. So I switch sides. His heart is probably in the right place, but the execution... Like, he probably does believe the only way you can survive is by being strong, because otherwise the desert will kill you. What is execution? Hmm. You know what, Bone Mender? You're alright. Takes a lot of guts to stick your neck into someone else's fight just to help folk. I feel like Edmund had a whole come to Jesus moment while he while we only told him to go and get kindling and water. That was we just gave him a simple job for two things and he had a whole road to Damascus moment. Watching you work well, makes me feel like an idiot for fighting in the first place. I'm a simple healer, nothing more. <sighs> I'm alive? That you are. The others too. My name's Griff. I command these soldiers. They were marching to battle when a terrible monster attacked. The ground turned to quicksand. And we were pulled under. Oh, it is a monster. A monster? Sounds like a sand lion. A sand lion? What's that? A beast that lives in the sands round here. Usually pretty docile. All the fighting must have set the thing off. Once one of them goes berserk, nothing to do but run for the hills until it calms. Many of my soldiers are still back at our encampment. They're in peril. I must warn them. Hold on now. You're too injured. I'll go. Edmund, you're gonna get shot at. As will I. Okay, we're both gonna get shot at. Commander Griff, you're still too hurt to walk. Rest. Recover your strength. Thank you. Come on, Bone Mender. Time to go to someone else's aid.
So I guess there's specific times maybe where we can hear travel banter? Nasty, what happened to your arm? There's some sort of black bruising on it. This isn't a bruise, but the vestiges of some sort of malignant swelling. I know that much, but I can't remember when or where or how I got it in the first place. Do you think it's related to your memory loss? Very likely. From my examinations, the origins of this blackened scarring are abnormal. It wasn't caused by injury or illness, if I'm correct. Rather, it must have been caused by some sort of unique and potent pharmaceutical, such as poison. Is that something you would have handled in your work, Casti? An upstanding apothecary is unlikely to ever use something so dangerous. I worry about what I may have gotten up to in my past. You needn't fret, Casti. I trust that you are and always were a good person. Aww. At least one of us cares. Make for the camp. Okay, so I'm trying to press plus now and it's not giving me travel banter, so I'm assuming it's for specific times. Which, good to know. Oh. Oh, the other good thing about having Oswald is that he, he will quite literally, um... There we go. He will unlock the weaknesses of every single player, which is very nice. Now it begins. Or not player, every single foe. One weakness per foe. Uh, let's find out if you're weak to sword. No, you're not. I should have tried polearm, maybe. No. He could, he does need healing. But I'm going to use replenish health instead. Let's see how good that works. Let's try axe. No? Oof. No, it's okay, Bestie. He'll be okay. What's my latent power? Ooh, yes. Single target to all. Regardless of what their weak point is, I feel like it might be worth a try, Gale. They're not weak to it. All right. That was pathetic. Also, it wasn't... Is this skill working? Like, to heal him? It does not feel like it's working. Ah, oh, there we go. Polearm. It is okay. Never mind. I'm sorry for doubting you, buddy. Uh, we'll use staff. Because... Oh, Agnea plays don't die. Apothecary skills, we'll use healing touch. This will make it all my things she is a little not tanky, so if you look at the amount of health everybody else has versus her, what is this? poor baby. Like, she's, she's trying. She's really trying. Oof. Ouch. Really did. Oh, look at her. A cute little baby. She's doing so good. Yeah, I feel like even with Oswald's evasive maneuvers, we're still getting good XP. Old campsite, danger level 16. I think people are 13 or above, right? Damn. Were we too late? There's no one here. Maybe they ran away. I can only pray they weren't caught when the ground gave way. Help me. A dead body that's talking. Hold on, I'm coming. That looks like a layer. No, please. He's dead. Oh, travel banter. Go to Edmund, but also we have time for this. Kasti, watch this. I've come up with a dance that lets you glide across this land. If everyone can master it, we'll all be safe from the quicksand. I call it the sand step. That sounds like a lot of fun. How do you do it? It's hard to walk on sand, right? That's because people try to walk their own way, ignoring where the ground wants to go. If you move in harmony with the shifting sands, then... Ah! Ah! Agnea! I slipped 
slipped and twisted my ankle. There, there. It'll be all right. I'll have you patched in a jiffy. I'm sorry about this, Casty. Don't be. You were just trying to help everyone. I'll pass on learning the sand step, but I appreciate the effort nonetheless. I thought she might actually have a genius idea or something. I think we're going to call it here, but the next time we pick up with Octopat Traveler, we'll be sure to rescue Edmund and also our new soldier pal. And then also, hopefully complete chapter two of Kosti's adventures inside. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.